everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys all about Modern Dog Collectors Convention, or MDCC for short, which is how I'm gonna call it for the rest of the video. Um, MDCC is a convention that is held annually, and we hold it in a different city each year, so we move all over the country. I've been attending MDCC since 2017, so if you're really interested in seeing some videos about the convention, you can go back through my channel and I have coverage for 2017, 2018, and 2019. Now 2020, we had to go virtual, of course, so there's not as much coverage on that. However, there's some coverage over on our Modern Doll Collectors YouTube page, YouTube channel, so you can check that out to see some of the virtual stuff that we did last year. But we are back in person this year, and it is in August, and so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the convention so that you guys can decide if you want to come. We would love to have you there, and just so that you're aware of it for the future as well, this is, like I said, an annual convention. It's a lot of fun. It is the most fun that I've had at a convention. I just really enjoy going. So this year is a tribute to our beloved Diana Effner. Now, Diana Effner has been a longtime friend of MDCC, and she and her guild have come every year and presented um, a little darling for us. And so this year, this was last year's little darling that we got, and she's just so beautiful, y'all. Absolutely gorgeous. And this year we are going to have, that is the convention doll, is going to be a little darling. Now we don't know what she looks like. The little darlings every year are a huge surprise. And so that's part of the fun of getting the little darling is opening her and seeing her for the first time. And every time, you know, everybody in the room just gasps because they're so beautiful each year. And what they are is they are factory painted dolls, but then the artist guild, the different artists, um, they will do artist touch up on the dolls. So they get touched up. Um, so their face paint just really comes alive with those touch ups. So this is, this is, like I said, this is last year's doll. Um, but this year's doll is going to be just as beautiful. But that, that is our, this year, that is our theme. Our convention is dedicated to the memory of Diana Effner and it is a tribute to her. We also have on the line of, speaking along the line of the Little Darlings, we have the Little Darling Fashion Gala where we have very talented designers design outfits for a Little Darling and those are auctioned off on a doll um, during a fashion gala. Uh, it's a runway type event where, you know, somebody walks the doll up and then people, you know, it's a live auction and we donate all those proceeds to St. Jude's Hospital. So that's our charity of choice. So that's a really fun event and it's really fun to see people get into um, a battle over you know one doll that it, it's just always fun to see where that goes so that's a big event that we have each year as well and that we'll be having this year so that that is um, <laughs> sorry so that is uh, one of the featured artist dolls that we'll have this year now I'm going to talk to you about the other dolls you see on the table they are artist dolls, but these are not the dolls that are going to be at convention. I just have a representation of the dolls so I can show you. So for the first time ever, artist Kim Arnold from Trinket Box Dolls is going to be doing a doll for us. Now that doll is already sold out, but uh, the program's going to be really exciting and it's going to be really cool to see her and I'm just really excited to welcome Kim to the convention for the first time. Now she won't be able to attend in person. Uh, we, we are having some of our artists are not going to be able to attend in person, especially our international artists because of the whole situation, but we wanted to go ahead and do this in person because everybody's ready to see their friends again. We're ready to see each other and some of our artists will be there, so that's good. So we've got Kim Arnold will be doing a doll for us this year. It will be a 12 inch size uh, Kimmy doll that is done especially for our convention. Judy Porter, now this is Judy's doll from last year. This is Tutti Fruity. Judy Porter is doing a doll for us this year. Her name is Luna and she's a 12 inch doll that can wear 10 inch doll clothes, think Blythe clothes for, for that doll. So she's such a cutie. I really think she's absolutely adorable. There are a few of those left. They're very close to selling out. So if you're interested in that, uh, you need to jump on it. Um, Meadow dolls will be represented there. Now this is my Meadow, this is a tween doll. We will have a dumpling named Coco this year. And we've seen some teaser art for her. Haven't seen the actual doll yet, but every year uh, that is just knocked out of the park. And Charlene Smith does the presentation for these dolls and absolutely amazing every time. Always really fun events with her. We're also going to have 
BB Flockling has is doing a doll for us called Remy. Now that doll is sold out, but Charlene again is going to be presenting this program for us and it's just going to be so much fun. Um, I just adore attending those events because she just, it, it's just always a lot of fun. For the first time this year, um, Atelier Mamoni is doing a doll for us. And there are a few of these dolls left. So if you're interested in those, just FYI. And uh, she is doing a Momonita for us, but it is going to be an exclusive resin tone and it's going to have an exclusive full set from her. So it's going to be a really cool doll, really cool chance to get one of her full sets because her full sets are traditionally only available at shows. You know, they're, they're very hard to get their, get your hands on. We're also going to be having a Connie Lowe doll and that doll is going to be, this is actually a previous modern doll. Um, this was our doll, our doll from New Orleans that Connie did for us. But we're having a um, little Stella in the real skin tone that Connie is doing. And this is like a special um, kind of like last run of Stella. And so we've, we might have a few of those left, but I'm not sure. I'll have to double check on that. Um, and we also are having uh, Helen Kish this year. Um, I don't have one of her dolls. That's the only artist I don't have a representative doll for, but if you know Kish, you know her dolls are absolutely beautiful and they are, they're vinyl dolls and they're really, really sweet, have really sweet, gorgeous faces. For the first time ever, I pitched an idea um, and we are doing what I'm, this is gonna be the first in installment of International Playline Dolls. So each year I'm going to be presenting a program, this year's the first year, on a doll that is a Playline doll from another country. So traditionally these dolls would be difficult for you to get if you were in the United States. And this year's doll that I'm, and the first doll that I'm going to be presenting for everyone is Juanita Perez. Now this event is not open for registration yet, but when the event packets go out, you will get all the information and details. I'm going to be presenting her in a social and I'm going to be teaching you guys all about her and the history of this doll. She's a beautiful doll. I have a quite a big collection of Juanita Perez dolls and her family and they are beloved dolls from Mexico that are just, they're made in Mexico, they're gorgeously made. Just look at the face, such sweet faces. So, and it's going to be a special edition doll with a special outfit. Um, she's going to be dressed for the Kentucky Derby, so it's going to be a really cool event. So, um, to, to come to Modern Doll Collectors Convention, MDCC, the registration fee is $175, and the $175 gets you access to purchase the doll, so each doll event or seminar is an extra charge to get the doll or the meal, um, but that you get access to that, you get access to the sales room, and the final banquet uh, on Saturday night is included with that. So, you get a lot for the 175 you're going to get a goodie bag of course but you know the thing about modern doll is it's just so much fun and you know a lot of our dolls I was kind of telling some of the other board members a lot of our dolls become some of the most coveted dolls on the secondary market after we release them at convention you know because they're full sets done by the artist they're very limited runs and they're exclusive to modern doll so I highly encourage you if you're interested um, to do so to go ahead and get ready registered and I'll of course leave all the links below for that. This year's Modern Doll Convention is at the Brown in Louisville, Kentucky and it is from August 18th to 21st. That's a Wednesday through a Saturday night and the Brown Hotel is in downtown Louisville. It is a historic hotel and it is absolutely gorgeous. Last weekend we, the board members, went there and toured the hotel and looked at the different event rooms and banquet rooms where we're going to be having the events and everything is absolutely spectacular. It is a wonderful hotel. The rooms were clean. They were gorgeous. Um, just everything about it was really nice and it's just it's going to be a really fun place to have this convention. Now they have had MDCC at the Brown before. It was before I actually was attending MDCC and most of the folks who have been to the convention at the Brown always say that is one of the most fun and exciting conventions they've been to because they love that location. Um, it's just in a really good location and it's just, you know, there's a lot of fun stuff to do. So I've arrived here in my room at the Brown and I'm lucky number 13 floor. Looks like there's some 
whiskey to greet me and some chocolate covered strawberries. Isn't that nice? Two bottles of whiskey. And this is a beautiful room. Just take a look at how nice this is. Super gorgeous. And let's look at the view. There's the view out there. There's a courtyard down there. Really gorgeous. This is my first time in Louisville, so this is exciting. And it smells really nice in here too. It smells really clean, which is exactly what you want to smell. While we're at the event, we will have social distancing measures in place. So what we are going to require is we are going to require masking throughout the event, except when you're eating. Um, and that is to help protect the vulnerable collectors that we have at our convention, myself included in that vulnerable category. So we do ask that you mask and we ask that you try to keep, you know, safe distances from each other. We are going to have at our meal events, we're going to have a maximum of eight people per table. Um, typically we would have 10 to 12 so we're going to have a maximum of eight per table so they won't be you won't be right on top of each other when you're eating and we're gonna have a couple of tables that will seat six um, for those people that are more comfortable sitting with less folks at the table so but masks are gonna be required through the seminars um, events except when eating and in the sales room so just keep that in mind and that's uh, to help protect you and to help protect our vulnerable collectors that uh, are going to be in attendance at Modern Doll. So the cool thing about the Brown is there are a lot of things in Louisville that you can do and I got to test out a lot of those things when I was there last weekend. So. Louisville, of course, is bourbon country, and we went for a bourbon tour. Um, it was the taste, it was the city taste tour, and you got on a bus and you got to taste a lot of different types of bourbon, a lot of different types of food. We actually didn't realize there was going to be so much food on the tour, but you get to taste and sample a lot of great things. So there's that. There is, of course, uh, Churchill Downs, where the Kentucky Derby is held, which we got to tour that. That was amazing. They have a museum there. I didn't get a chance to do that on this trip, but when I'm there the next time in August, I definitely plan to make a visit to the Churchill Downs Museum because they say that's really cool. But we did get to go there, and my dolls got to try on some hats, which was really cool. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Another thing that's there is the Louisville Slot. Slugger Museum because the Louisville Slugger baseball bats uh, are made there and of course they have some doll sized bats that they actually make there in Louisville so make sure to pick one of those up for your dolls while you're there. I'm not a big baseball fan myself but when I see a doll size accessory I cannot help but to get it. Um, so there's just so many cool things to do in Louisville. That's just a small, you know, sample. And there's a lot of history there in town. And, you know, going on one of those tours like the City Taste Tour, you get to see a lot of that. So now let's talk about the food because the food in Louisville was phenomenal. First of all, the Brown Hotel is very well known for the hot brown. It has been featured on the Food Network. Um, it's just a very special open-faced turkey sandwich. It has a Mornay sauce over it, which kind of to me is sort of like an Alfredo sauce when I tasted it, but you know, maybe a little less spicy is not the right word but it doesn't have the same sort of seasonings in it but it's kind of like an alfredo sauce lots of cheese two slices of bacon on top very good um, just a very unique dish uh, to the brown and to the area another thing that we tried there were two restaurants uh, just steps away from the brown hotel there was a mediterranean restaurant called saffron and they had i had for the first time in my life chicken shawarma which i felt like iron man eating that because i have never had it before and it was very good it came with a garlic sauce and oh my gosh it was just so good Next door to that, there was a pizza place that was also very good, and there we had a hot brown pizza, um, which was delicious. Totally different than the hot brown that the brown actually serves, but you could still get the essence of those flavors and things like that. So you've got those two places, like I said, within walking distance of the hotel that are very reasonably priced and good food. Another place that we tried was Feast Barbecue, which is an Uber ride away. 
and when you're in Kentucky you've got to try barbecue right I'm a Carolina girl so I grew up on I grew up on Carolina barbecue and the barbecue I actually grew up on is Eastern North Carolina barbecue because that's where I was born so I'm used to that vinegar based barbecue here where I'm at in South Carolina we have more of the sweet ketchup based um, sauces so in Louisville when you're there you know you got to try the barbecue that feast barbecue place was great I had a couple of tacos um, that were just delicious so and mac and cheese was amazing everybody tried something different everybody liked what they had and they had bourbon slushies and let me tell you about the bourbon slushie the first taste you're kind of like hmm and then you taste it again it's kind of like hmm and then you keep tasting it and it tastes better the more you drink <laughs> And you know, I guess that's the way bourbon is, right? The more you drink of it, the better it tastes. But everything in Louisville has got a hint of bourbon or you know they use bourbon if you don't drink alcohol don't worry there are non-alcoholic options available everywhere but it is very fascinating to see the different things they do with bourbon also steps away from the hotel is a candy place that makes bourbon um, truffles and they are widely recognized for being able to actually expertly combine the bourbon with the chocolate very cool experience very cool thing to taste um, and I brought some of those home of course so that's a great keepsake if you have somebody back at home that you want to bring something to just step down the down the street from the hotel to the candy shop and get yourself some bourbon truffles to take home so there's so much good food there's so many cool things to do in Louisville not to mention all the amazing doll events seminars workshops that we are going to have um, at the Modern Doll Collectors Convention this year I really hope to see you guys there if you have any questions about it be sure to send us an email check out our website um, we also have a Facebook group I'm going to leave the Facebook group link in the comments below that's actually the best place to ask your questions um, because I get so many messages on a daily basis it's really hard for me to answer all the questions that I get from people via Instagram and Facebook and all the different places but if you go in that modern doll collectors convention chat that's the name of the group which again I'm gonna link below you join up you can ask any questions that you have in that group and somebody there will answer them pretty quickly if it's not me myself one of the other board members will do so so I hope to see some of you guys there um, like I said it's just so much fun um, I, I am so much looking forward to it because I'm ready to see my doll friends um, in person I'm ready for a doll convention I'm ready to start getting you know back to the way things used to be which of course things will probably never be exactly the same as they always have been but at least I think this is a good step um, for the in-between year you know for 2021 as people vaccines are rolling out and things like that so I really really hope you guys will join us and I want to just say a huge thank you to everybody if you watch this video if you like it please give it a big thumbs up I will link all the details like I said below so be sure to check everything out if you're interested in coming registration is still open we however will not be taking any absentee registrations past April 30th so this will be the last week available to do absentee registrations and you can find more info about that like I said in the Facebook group chat so anyway guys thanks again and we will see you in the next video bye bye